Hi, my name is Kit Nast. I teach psychology here at Bishop State. I'm just going to take you through a short tour of our learning management system called Canvas. So, if we start from the main bishop.edu webpage, uh, you can click on Canvas Login, the upper right here, and it'll take you to this page. Here, you will put in your student number as your user ID, and then your password is a 10-digit number. The, it's your uh, six-digit date of birth plus the last four of your social no spaces, 10 digits in a row. Then when you click login, you'll have to first uh, read the terms of use and then click a little I agree box. And then once you do that, it'll give you access to your dashboard. So here, you'll see all the different courses that you're enrolled in. You can click on any title to get into uh, the actual course. I'll show you that in a second. But first, a few things over here. Uh, if you look at uh, uh, the account tab, if you click on that, uh, under profile, you can pick, uh, you can actually put in a picture, a cool picture of yourself in your Blackhawks jersey or your Alabama jersey or whatever you want. Uh, you can also change uh, or you can add additional email addresses or a uh, phone number. Then under, let's see, notifications, let me show you this. Here, uh, if you want to be notified about any of these things through, uh, through email, uh, depending on how often you want to do it, uh, see what these things represent up here. So like uh, uh, for due dates, you want to be notified right away of a due date, you just come over here and click that. So you go through and click whatever you want on all of these, uh, and then you'll get emails when these things occur. Now let's go back over here. Uh, you'll like the calendar. Uh, you'll see due dates. So for example, on the 15th, this practice quiz is due. Uh, this uh, module one discussion is due so you'll have these for all your courses on this calendar so it'll be really easy to see when everything is due uh, now for email the email is all internal it's all within this system so uh, if you send your instructor in an email uh, through this system you'll have to come back here to see the response so basically you can pick any of your courses here if you want to and then you go over and you could compose a new message, click that box, and actually you can kick, pick your course here. Uh, click that little box. Say I want to send it to my instructor, and then put in a subject, and then the email, and then click send. And there you go. Then you'll have to, again, come back to this inbox to see that message. So let's go on in and, and uh, take a look at a course. So if I click on this course right here it'll take me here and let me show you your view uh, so uh, in in every course is gonna be a little bit different uh, so you might see different uh, tabs here now uh, I bring students in on my modules page so that's the same as the home page so we can look at a few things here you'll have a link to the syllabus so you can read through that you can print it you should do that make sure you get the correct textbook as soon as you can. Um, now let's go back to that home page. Uh, you'll probably have something that'll tell you a little bit about your instructor uh, and then you'll get into the modules or the content. So uh, I thought I'd show you just a little bit in module 2 here. So uh, these just open and close these. That's all that does. So you can click on that first module page and uh, generally you'll find a list of instructions for what you should do within that module like read this watch these presentations interact in the discussion and so on then you can just click the next button at the bottom to get to the next page so that may be some kind of a lecture page and then somewhere in here you'll find a discussion so you'll interact in, within discussions each week uh, uh, you may have two different due dates during the week. That's what I do. Uh, students have to read this question and then they have to post their initial answer by Wednesday night and then they have until the end of the week to respond to several other students. So these guidelines will be a little bit different in each course. And also in some of these you may have to post your initial response before you see any of the other posts. All right, that, at least that's what I do. Um, now and then click next again and you'll get into other things like quizzes so if we go back to that modules page 
all I did is click on into this and then click next which took me here then next which took me here and so on or you can go directly into any one of these if I want to go straight to the discussion I'll click this uh, and then later in the week I can just click on discussion and go into that uh, straight from here so let me show you what a discussion post looks like so this is back to that module 2 research post so you have to develop a research study uh, and so on so if I I've developed my research study I'll click in this box I'll post my answer a little more complex than that uh, and then I'll click post reply so you'll see it show up so let's say um, I read this response and want to post a reply to this okay let's pretend this is another student's response well I post my own responses here right there just like I did a second ago but if I want to respond respond to this one I'll click on the reply right here and I'll post my response post reply so you'll see these are connected and you'll see that's indented so as this discussion builds you'll see which responses are the initial posts and then which ones uh, uh, are responses to those so I can then go back to let's see I'll show you the grade book uh, within the grade book scores will show up here as we go out throughout the term and you can see what everything is worth and all the, the different uh, work you'll have to complete generally each week in all your courses you'll have two at least two different graded assignments probably a discussion and a quiz or an assignment uh, and then also let me show you this announcements page you should, should check this regularly uh, this will probably guide you in the beginning on what you should be doing um, that's what I do in my welcome announcement so we can just click on that and see that let's go back um, also within all online classes you will have to uh, come in at least once most likely just once uh, uh, to complete one big assignment like a midterm or more likely a final exam so uh, you, you'll probably find out very soon the date of that uh, but you'll have to ask your your individual instructors for that so uh, for now get into the course take a look at your uh, syllabus and if you have any questions contact your instructor right away uh, and figure out what you should be doing don't let problems get big good luck